Here's a question for you. How's your dog's breath? Go ahead, take a nice long whiff. If it's bad, it is time to check your pup's oral health. Dr. Jennifer Hennessy, veterinarian at Animal ER of Northwest Houston, is here with ways to improve your dog's breath and dental health. Dr. Hennessy, it's good to see you. We've you got too. Charlie, Tex's brother, along yes. with Tex, who is very <laughs> relaxed. So the first point that you have, I mean, we all think that bad breath in pets is natural. It's not, right? They shouldn't have horrible yes, breath. Yes, bad breath is not normal. And to spin on that, I have some questions for you. I'm actually going to quiz you oh. to see how much you know on okay. dog breath. So number one, okay. <laughs> it's my turn. I know a you. lot about bad breath. Let's okay. see. What is the percentage of pets that have dental health issues before the age of three? A, more than 35%, B, less than 50%, or C, more than 85%? Oh man, I would say like around 50%. A little higher. It's actually more than 85% more than... of pets have dental health issues by the, the age of three. Wow. And if you think of the toy breeds like Chihuahuas and Yorkies, they actually can have dental health issues as early as one year of age. More common in toy breeds. Yes. Okay, good yes. to know. So number two, how many teeth do dogs have? Uh, 30? A would be 42, B 32, C 22. I'm going to guess 32. That's as many as you have. Okay. So that's a good guess, but they actually have 42. And the irony to me is that a Chihuahua is, has the same number of teeth as a Great Dane. They have 42 teeth. In oh mouth. my gosh, a lot yeah. of little razor sharp teeth. <laughs> okay. So third question, here we go. How often should you brush your pet's teeth at home if you want to make an actual impact with your with your effort to brush their teeth? Do I have Would choices? it be daily, two times a week, or once a week? I mean, maybe two two times a week. Daily seems like very frequent. Two times a week is correct. It so, is. <laughs> you know, brushing daily, yes, is going to be, of course, you know, daily habits tend to go a little farther and give us more results, but at least two times a week in order to have a positive impact in the pet's mouth. Two Good times job. a week. All right. So yes. thank you. That was very interesting. Yeah. We have some little dental uh, treats we can give to yes. Tex and Charlie. Yeah, Charlie uh, and one. this is something that a lot of pet owners, oh you know, gosh. may have seen in the store. They can purchase treats that help. Tex, are you going to chew on that thing? <laughs> He's literally frozen like a mannequin. <laughs> Courtney, stop laughing. So these these dental treats are great for dogs, but Dr. Hennessy, you say that they actually need to be going in just as we would to a dentist to get a checkup. Correct. Honestly, when you look into an animal's mouth, it's like, you know, when I looked into Texas earlier, we can only see 40% of the tooth. So 60% of a dog's tooth or a cat's tooth lies underneath the gum line. So okay. our, for a full oral health evaluation, a veterinarian visit is really needed as well as x-rays. And is it a clean that a dog would get at the vet or no just like it's, just to, it's yes. just to take a look the first would be a consult and then x-rays the x-rays can discover actually veterinary dentists have recognized that 28 percent of dogs and 42 percent of cats that go in and have a normal oral exam are discovered to have dental health issues based on dental x-rays so. and that's why it's so critical because at home like you said your dog's mouth and teeth may look totally normal but an x-ray and, and a veterinarian is going to be see able to see things we can't correct because going beyond the teeth we have the teeth attachments, we have the gum health, and a lot of the oral health things that we discover on exam actually can link to general health. So when I do an oral exam at an emergency clinic, I actually look for things as far as generalized health and of course tooth issues as well, but we can discover a multitude of things in the mouth that can lead to earlier prevention or care before things get worse. Okay, let's talk about uh, what we can do at home to care for our dog's teeth just to ensure that that next checkup is good. Well, many things like these products here are veterinary recommended, and the key thing is finding a product that is approved by the Veterinary Oral Health Council, okay. and that kind of gives you a leg to stand on whether or not it's good product or just fancy marketing, uh, but those products are going to be labeled, particularly with these, to treat the bacteria in the mouth. The bacteria are the culprits underneath the gum line that actually create plaque, which then leads to tartar. When we're brushing our teeth, like we were talking about before, twice a week, our goal is to clear that plaque and the bacteria so that we never lead to such a heavy buildup of the tartar. And before we let you go, what if your dog, I mean the dog on our screen looks looks pretty okay with this toothbrushing process. What if you have difficulties uh, just getting your dog to relax during this process? Well, key thing is mess with their mouth on a routine basis and make it fun. Make sure it's not stressful and you know fearful and just kind of incorporate that you know as crazy it is into your petting and loving exams. But we do have products nowadays like oral rinses and this one actually goes in the water. So dogs and cats can drink it throughout the day and get a cleansing of the mouth to kind of 
combat bacteria. So it's one way kind of hands off that we can be proactive and take care of our pets' oral health at home. Okay, well, Dr. Yeah. Jennifer Hennessy, I'm so glad you stopped by today. Thank Looks you. like Charlie has given up on his chew toy. Tex is still <laughs> just holding his in his mouth. <laughs> it's okay, buddy, sweetheart. Listen, if you'd like to connect with Dr. Hennessy, you can visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. All right, now let's send things over to Courtney, who has a healthier way for us all to snack. Hey, Courtney. Hey, you know, 